How you do one thing is how you do everything. If you're not disciplined with the food you eat, if you're not disciplined with your working out, you're not gonna be disciplined on your business, right? Eric Ellis here, CEO of WolvesAcademy.com, the Wolf of Marketing. And you're watching this video because you wanna know the secret to making $100 per day and beyond online. I'm currently shooting this here from my villa here in Bali, Indonesia. I've really been locked in and a lot of the content that I've been creating has been content kind of just face to camera. I'm currently shooting this with my iPhone. Basically, the reason why I've been creating a lot of content and my views have actually gone down is because of the type of creative content that, I, that I've been creating recently, right? Basically, it's a simple solution, guys, right? If you want to make $100 per day, you have to become that type of person. So, so many people are trying to focus on the practical side, meaning they're trying to learn how to build sales funnel, learn how to drive traffic, learn how to do all this stuff. But at the end of the day, that's only 10%, right? 10% of success is practicality, right? Learning the actual skill set. 90% is your mindset, being able to execute, being able to focus, being able to persist when things go wrong. So, for example, last week, hell of a freaking week and not in a good way. I had a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on. And at the end of the day, I'm used to being outside of my comfort zone as an entrepreneur. So I'm always pursuing things that help me grow. So when I fail or when something's not going right, I don't just fold, right? I look for the solution. Becoming this type of person wasn't an overnight thing, right? I've read plenty of self-development books, invested into plenty of courses, so on and so forth, but I'm always working on my mind. And the biggest asset that I have as an entrepreneur and the biggest weapon that I have that sets me apart from the masses is my mindset. It's my mentality. You'll hear people say success is a mindset. Guys, success is a lifestyle, right? Being disciplined, waking up early, having morning rituals, being focused, taking away distractions like social media if you're not using it to grow and scale your business, being consistent, right? Consistently applying these things. Whenever it comes to you starting a business, right? And you have to do specific things like content creation. I basically, for example, I didn't feel like creating content this morning, but I gotta get it done because I committed to it. And because I committed to it, I thought, okay, what could I share quickly that would go ahead and give people value today? So this is me right? Showing you guys, even though I did not feel like creating this content, this is me being disciplined. This is me being consistent. Now, why do I do that, right? Well, why, why don't I just go ahead and kind of put that to the side and then be disciplined on the things that I feel like it, right? Because how you do one thing is how you do everything. If you're not disciplined with the food you eat, if you're not disciplined with your working out, you're not going to be disciplined on your business, right? When you do the hard things or you go down the hard paths or you do the things that you don't feel like doing on a consistent basis, when it comes to do the same thing in your business, it's gonna be a lot easier. So for example, if there's a task that you gotta do to be successful when it comes to your business and you don't feel like doing it, right? You're already gonna be conditioned to do those things that are outside of your comfort zone, the things that you don't feel like doing, climbing, the tall hill instead of taking the straight, smooth path, right? And because of that, slowly but surely, you will go ahead and start rising above your peers, right? You're gonna go ahead and start actually executing on the things that you need to be successful. You're going to go ahead and actually stick it through instead of quitting. You're gonna go ahead and persist when it counts. You're gonna remain consistent and eventually tap into exponential growth, the compound effect, and your financial breakthrough but the real answer is this, guys. You guys could watch a million videos online about people saying how to make $100 per day with no effort or no investment or with a little bit of work. Guys, that's all boys, right? And the reason why a lot of my content has changed is because like I will create similar content to that, but like that's all And me being an authentic human being, like I can't continue to create something that's not gonna go ahead and help you get to your, your goals, right? Your goal is to live a life of time location and financial freedom. I've done it. But the reason why I've done it is all those type of videos that you're watching, I didn't watch those dumb videos, right? I basically invested in myself financially, bought courses, got access to the information, continuously worked on my mindset and executed. And the reason why I'm creating even less content lately is because I'm not focused more so on building my brand these days. I'm focused on building my damn businesses. And the cool thing is, is when you guys got money, like long money, you can buy a brand, meaning I could spend thousands upon thousands of dollars, just like Coca-Cola, 
even millions of dollars eventually, just like Coca-Cola or any of these people who are building their brand. And I'll be able to reach more people and I'll be able to go to and reach a message that isn't like algorithm throttled by people like social media. You gotta pay to play in this world sometimes. What I mean is if they don't wanna display my ad uh, or my videos, or if YouTube decides not to display my videos, who cares? I'll have so much money at that time to where I'll be able to go ahead and impact, inspire, educate, and empower the masses, right? That's what I'm here to do. That's what that's my goals in, in life, right? What's yours, right? What do you wanna accomplish? So with that being said, here's my homework to you. Go ahead and write down what it is you truly want, what it is you truly desire, whether that's time, location, financial freedom, whether that's to buy your dream house, whether that, whatever it is you want most out of this world, right? You need a definiteness of purpose. Read the book, Think and Grow Rich. Once you find what it is that you want, you also need to identify why you want it. Go ahead and create some sort of motion that's attached to that thing and actually write this down so that way you can read what you want every single day and why you want it, right? So that way you can tap into that emotion. And then the next step, guys, is creating a plan of action. How are you gonna go ahead and achieve that? So if, let's just say, what I want most out of life is to live a life of time, location, and financial freedom, so that way I can make enough money to eventually do what I'm passionate about, which is art, or speaking, or motivating people, or whatever that thing is, right? Write that down, define it, explain why. The reason why I wanna do that is because I wanna have the freedom to, to live life on my own terms, and I also wanna go ahead and impact the world and leave a legacy, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and create a plan of action on achieving that thing. So for example, your plan of action could be, okay, okay, what am I gonna do? What I'm gonna sell, how I'm gonna make money, right? That's the first check, check box. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start an affiliate marketing business. I'm gonna start an e-commerce business. I'm gonna, whatever, right? What's the next thing that you wanna do? Buy a course, invest into yourself, right? Invest into yourself. Stop being cheap, invest into yourself. Once you invest into yourself, constantly, constantly, constantly develop your mindset. 90% is mindset. And I'm not, guys, I'm not talking about motivational videos, right? So many people think mindset is, okay, if I keep on watching these motivational videos, if I keep on watching these motivational videos, motivational videos get you inspired. They don't teach you about discipline. They don't teach you about consistency. They don't teach you, teach you about work ethic. You're not gonna hear that shit in a motivational video. Stop watching motivational videos. Start learning how to Shift your mind, shift your paradigm, shift your belief system. Start reading books like The Art of Living, Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Start with why? The Alchemist. There's so many different books out there, right? Start reading books on success. Start studying success so that way you can become that person who deserves to make $100, right? per day, $200 per day, $300 per day. Because once you become that person, the money's gonna flow, it's gonna attract to you. And then, last but not least, the most important ingredient is execute. So with that being said, if you guys don't have a vehicle that you can use to make $100 per day, I currently travel full time. I'm currently here in my private villa. This is my room, that's my office. My assistant's usually there, but I'm working solo so I can focus. I make more in a month than I used to make in a year. If you want me to be your mentor, click the first link in the description or the button down below and I'll go ahead and let you guys know my number one recommendation to make money online. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and give you, if you decide to invest into yourself financially, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the training you need to shift your mindset. And then all you gotta do, you're gonna have the vehicle, all you gotta do is take action. And then go ahead and go for the ride, my friend. So if you guys like this video and, and videos like this, First and foremost, make sure you hit the like button. Hit the freaking like button so that way this my content can get displayed to more people. And also go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Hit the notifications bell to join the family. As always, your boy Eric Ellis, the Wolf of Marketing, checking out.